This is for Year 12 Methods. It's Tech Masterclass question number five. Three quick questions using your calculator. The first one is I'm looking for the range and I've got a restricted domain. So I'm going to graph it. So I've typed it already minus two plus. I open up a window, graphing window, edit, clear all that out. Take this, drag and drop it. Oh, so I can see that I have a hyperbola but I'm only going from 0 to infinity so I'm only looking for this bit here and I have an asymptote at negative 2 so if I change my window from 0 to 7.7 .7, that's the bit I'm looking for so if I go analysis G solve F max my maximum is negative 1.75 and my minimum will be negative 2. So negative 2 to negative 1.75, so C is the correct answer. Looking at question number 2, the turning point of this, it's a parabola, the turning point. So if I use my calculator and I graph it, I'm likely to get a decimal answer. I know that the x value will be minus b over 2a. So it will be minus minus 5, so which is 5 on 4. So therefore it's either going to be this one or no other, so it's going to be that one. didn't even use my calculator. I could confirm it by putting in minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 1 but it's not minus 2 it's only 2 and analysis g solve minimum if I take this and I take this I just take that bit and I put it up in there when I press execute it tells me 9, 17, 9, 18 so that's exactly what I want to be is the right answer and part 3 the number of x-intercepts for this function is the number of x-intercepts again I'm going to sketch it so I've got 2 Sign, no, Get back into main, bring up the keyboard. I've got 2 sine pi x minus 1. Press x just to make sure it's all correct. Very good. I'm going to change my domain from minus pi to pi. So negative pi through to pi. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, is that an x-intercept? So if I go to analysis, g solve root, the first x-intercept that comes up is this one, therefore that's not one over there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be the correct answer.